Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl and this is another episode of A Local's Guide to St. Martin. secret beaches and hidden beaches on the island and today I'm gonna show you one of those although it is neither a secret or a hidden beach it's just not as accessible so today I'm gonna show you how to get to Happy Bay way to get to Happy Bay is to start at Friars Bay. Now Friars Bay is a gorgeous beach well on its own and it is a perfect beach to spend a day on and to catch some rays and some good local food as well. But our target or our goal today is to get to Happy Bay. So to do that I am gonna park my car all the way in the back which takes you then to the middle of the beach and thus closer to the little hiking trail that we need to take to get to Happy Bay. Alright, so to get to Happy Bay, the easiest way to get there is through Friars Bay. And there's a trail just behind me that leads exactly to where we need to go today. The little trail that takes you from Friars Bay to Happy Bay is an easy one. It's easy enough to do in your flip-flops just like I'm doing now, but I would not recommend it. So if you are taking this trail, just keep your eyes open and look at where you're stepping and how you're going. But also, it is very important to take your time and take in the scenery. It is absolutely breathtaking. Another thing to keep in mind is that unlike Friars Bay, Happy Bay does not have any restaurants, lounge chairs or umbrellas. So if you are planning on spending the day at Happy Bay, it is best for you to pack light, but then pack all of the necessary umbrella, maybe a beach chair, as well as of course beverages and maybe some food. structure here was probably at one point a restaurant and a bar but it is not currently in use so on a Sunday you might find somebody selling cold beverages out of a cooler but do not count on it happy bay is the location for the annual electronic music festival called SXM festival that takes place every year in March so that restaurant was probably used for that as well and one more thing that you need to take note of before or during your trip at Happy Bay is that because of its seclusion, it is very popular with the nudists. Mm -hmm. 
Although I do love time spent on Happy Bay for its seclusion, privacy, and of course the beach itself, I always take the trail back to Friars Bay after just because I love eating at one of the two restaurants on that beach. And today I've chosen 978 Beach Lounge. If the name sounds familiar, it's because I did a video on this beach lounge and its sister company called 978 Sanctorum not too long ago. So if you want to check that out, I have linked it down below. This bar used to be called Cali's Beach Bar for those of you who are familiar with St. Martin and its beaches and it serves great local food and of course it is a great spot for a rum punch on the beach. And with that, I have come to the end of this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below which one of the two beaches has your preference. Are you more of a Friars Bay person or a Happy Bay person? And also, of course, do return back to my channel for more on St. Martin and the rest of the Caribbean islands that I've been to.